Hi guys, and welcome to a new series called Clip Shots. Uh, yes, a series that's going to include some lucky shots. It's going to include some mega fails, not just by me, but by you. And uh, basically, little games and little things that happen that uh, really don't deserve a video to themselves. But I'm just going to throw them all in together as a selection of clips. For example, this game here in the Jagdpanzer E100, I'm advancing towards town. An IS-3 has been spotted moving into town. And I'm invincible. I'm in my Jagdpanzer E100. One of my stress relief tanks. One of the tanks I go into when I just want to derp around and have fun. So I've been spotted. Yeah, but there's no pressure. And I'm just advancing. So there's an IS-3 up here I'm aware of. Nothing else has been spotted going into town. And I decide I'm going to cross the road. I really, really don't care if this IS-3 shoots me in the side. Besides, he doesn't have shots. So I'm just going to pause it here. So the only tank we have seen coming into town is the IS-3. And I'm thinking to myself, what would be scarier? What could be scarier than a Jagdpanzer E100 turning the corner and uh, facing you down? So I'm expecting to give an enemy tank a major surprise when I turn around this corner. There really isn't much else scarier in World of Tanks than a Jagdpanzer E100 turning around a corner in front of you at point blank range. So here we go. What's scarier than a Jagdpanzer E100 turning a corner? A goddamn Waffentrager E100! And I bounce and... Yes. So, uh, there you go. That answers the question. What is scarier than a Jagdpanzer E100 turning the corner to face you at close range? Well, the answer is a Waffentrager E100 who's hiding around the corner ready to face you. Uh, one that was not spotted heading into town and I was really, really surprised he even went into town. But uh, fair and balanced. Yes, Jagdpanzer E100 versus Waffentrager E100. Arse. Next up we have Treerun79 in his IS-8 who's about to give the ELC AMX on the enemy team. An ELC going by the name Mr. Testicular Torsion. Well, I guess Tree Run 79 is going to give him a little bit of a twist. Here we go. So, the IS-8 is pretty much a fast, heavy tank. I've got one. I haven't started driving it yet, but... Uh, Tree Run has uh, gotten himself a really, really nice spawn as close to the hill as possible. And he's doing 50 kilometers an hour down this slope. And this little ELC is about to find out that he is not driving one of the fastest tanks in the game. Tree Run pops up. And takes him out with a pretty nice shot on the move. So just watch chat, guys. Watch chat. R.I.P. ELC. How the fuck can you get there at the same time as me? Bullshit. So, uh, yeah. A nice little lesson to Mr. Testicular Torsion in the advantage of being in a fast heavy tank and getting a really, really nice spawn on Thundra. Better look next time. Next up, we have Sneaking Badger in his T2 light. Who believes he can fly? He's taking some damage, he's returning fire, but he still believes he can fly. I don't want to sing that song, otherwise I'll be copyright infringement. But here we go, he's traveling down here, and yes. Okay, that uh, didn't quite work out. Yeah, sucks. Let's watch that from another angle. I believe I can fly. Yes. 
Next up, we have a slightly longer clip. Again, it's from uh, Tree Run, and he is in his lever, and he's going to be heading down towards the corner at J5, as a top tier heavy should do. So he's going to be defending this corner. He's angling against any tanks that may be coming around this corner. And there is a T29 on the enemy team. Who is it? It is Detz from Reddit7. Who is going to be causing Tree Run a, uh, some problems. So uh, T3485 is spotted and uh, Lerva does what the Lerva does. Gets a nice shot into his side. And uh, I think Tree Run's trying to uh, side scrape here, but he's at a really, really bad angle. He's exposing way, way too much of uh, his tank. But he does get another nice shot into the T-3485, so there's an IS around the corner as well. So it's a slightly longer clip, because... Uh, I want to show you just how invincible the T-29 on the enemy team thinks he is. So AT-15 moves up and finally the enemy T-29 deaths shows up. So uh, goes for a shot in his commander's cupola and bounces. T-29, probably the best tier 7 in the game. Goes for a shot in his uh, commander's cupola. And bounces. 87 is penning him, but uh, Tree Run not managing anything on this uh, T29. So again, he's changing, he's reversing. Again, he's at a little bit of a, a bad angle. Trying to get shots on the T29. Commander's Cupola, AT-15 is preventing his shot. He's uh, at a bad angle, but... And he bounces on the uh, T29 again. A little bit of lag in the replay. So this T29 uh, seems to be invincible. Tree Run just cannot pen his commander's cupola. So again, the angle that Tree Run is taking up here is very, very, very uh, steep. It means that uh, enemy tanks will be able to pen him, and they do. IS comes around the corner, gets a big shot into uh, Tree Run. Tree Run returns fire, and he's still at a rather poor angle. He's not side scraping, he's uh, showing a lot of his side. Starting to straighten up. And there's this T29, but uh, Tree Run's going for the IS, takes out the IS, manages to bounce the T-3485. And this T-29 is just back. So, with the IS down, and the T-3485 down, it just leaves a T-29 and the AT, or T-25 AT around this corner. So the AT-15 and Tree Run decide to advance. And this T-29 is just sitting here. Come on, he's hull down, but now Tree Run's advancing and he bounces on his upper plate. He cannot do any damage to this T-29 whatsoever. He gets tracked, use a repair kit. T-29's reversing, another shot into his uh, upper front plate and it bounces. So Tree Run finally runs out of patience and decides to push the T-29, but he doesn't have enough power, so the AT-15 moves in, and between the two tanks, they finally manage to push the T-29 into the water. So if you cannot shoot him, if you cannot kill him, then you might as well just drown him. And finally, I'm going to show you why the KV-2 is the best sniper in the game. FV-304 is spotted on the other side of the map. Oh, there he is. He's behind a building. Is he going to reverse? Is he going to go forward? He's going to go forward, isn't he? And there we go.
So that's it for the first episode of Clip Shots. Uh, not too many, but I'm hoping to get far more in the future. If you want to be featured on Clip Shots and you've got a lovely little moment in game, it could be a moment of triumph, it could be a moment of fail, it could be an amazing shot, a ram, a drowning, whatever, please feel free to send it to me. I accept what replay links through my Twitch. So if you head over to my Twitch link and send me a message there with a what replay and a little description of what uh, clip you want included from the replay, I will have a look and you may feature on Clip Shots of the Week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.